We're the People's Band, and every Monday evening we rehearse in the Seniors Lounge. So if you have a saxophone or a clarinet or a trumpet or a drum or a maraca or a little egg shaker, you can be an egg shaker specialist. Um, let's not encourage them. <laughs> of Canadians and Americans coming together in the shadow of the beautiful Peace Arch, coming together to take a stand for social justice and civil rights. The great Paul Robeson sang here from the back of a flatbed truck in 1952. And again, in 1953, after he was denied entry into Canada by the U.S. State Department for a concert in support of the Mine, Mill and Smelter Workers Union of British Columbia. We came here together during the Vietnam War, hungry for peace. We came together here during the early days of the anti-nuclear movement, protesting the Trident subs lurking in our shared waters. Over the years, we've rallied here on many occasions to support many great and historic causes. And today, we're here again at another historic moment as we resist the legislated annihilation of workers' rights, of our bargaining rights, of our civil rights, of our democracy rights. We are building a movement, a movement that doesn't just span our two countries. It's a movement global in scope. In Canada and U.S., where we enjoy the robust democracies our grandparents built, the repression of our freedoms come in the form of legislative assault. But we must never forget that in countries like Colombia and Honduras, the veneer of democracy is just a mask erected by the corporate elite to lend a sheen of legitimacy to tyranny and corruption. And in those countries, violence, and today, right now in Honduras, 